Hi friends, today in this video, we will learn how to make a portfolio website. So if you want to make a portfolio website for freelancing, for personal branding or for anything else, then in this video, you will be able to learn how to make a portfolio website easily by following simple and easy steps. Now in order to make a portfolio website, all you will need is a good web hosting. Now with the term good web hosting, I only have one word in mind, which is Hostinger. All right. So why only I'm recommending Hostinger and why not other brands you will come to know? Just wait, my dear friend, just have patience. All you have to do is simply follow the link which is given in the description and you will directly come to this website, which is Hostinger.com. All right. So savings to set your website in motion at only $2.99 per month. And this deal ends in 7 hours, 25 minutes. 20 seconds all right so just thousands of satisfied website owners and i'm also personally using hostinger for the last two years and i'm fully satisfied with this so now first of all you have to choose the web hosting plan all right so here are the services like ssl access management e-commerce optimization backups migration and there are multiple pro features which they are providing you so you have to go in the hosting section and in the web hosting section all right so here uh, we are choosing the best web hosting for our portfolio website so that it can look good and it can um, I mean load fast. So web hosting as dynamic as a business at only $2.99 per month. And as you can see, this is the main part. Choose your web hosting plan. Now basically there are three plans. Now it's up to you. Uh, I mean, which plan you choose for your portfolio website. Listen, our portfolio website, uh, I mean, uh, it will look good it is based on a customization option but it will load first only when you have a good hosting all right so and this is the only reason i am recommending you hostinger because as you can see single premium and business so currently i am also using this premium shared hosting uh, plan uh, for my or for for all my websites let me explain quickly like in this uh, plan you will get you i mean you can host up to one website 50 gb ssd 10000 visits monthly and one email account and here you will not get free domain but in this plan you will get free domain of value 9.99 dollar all right so in this plan you're going to get free hsl and plus cloudflare protected name servers so it is cool that in this plan i mean in this basic plan you're going to get these many services because majority of the website don't even provide these many services in their basic plan and coming to the premium plan over here you will you will be able to see multiple best services like uh, as you can see free domain it's good and up to 100 website you can host it's pretty awesome and like uh, unlimited bandwidth and unlimited databases free email 25000 uh, visits monthly and 100 gb ssd storage so it's cool it i, I think this plan is uh, pretty awesome for you and if you are a business owner i mean if you want to do a startup or anything like else so this plan is also good for you because it is business shared hosting. Now, if you want to go with another type of hosting like a WordPress hosting, cloud hosting or hosting for agencies, it's up to you. You can even go with this. Now, currently I'm having this plan, but I'm, um, but I will soon move to the, this cloud hosting of hosting because its services are awesome. All right. So all you have to do is simply click on select button and now you have to fully purchase the hosting now if you want to know how to purchase a domain and hosting uh, from hostinger all you will do is simply follow the link in the description or you can just simply uh, go to the channel homepage go to go to my channel homepage and you will get that video uh, which i have published recently all right here you have to choose the plan i mean the period all right uh, then you have to simply make the payment now let me come back after just purchasing the hosting all you will get is the edge panel of Hostinger. Let us quickly come to that. So once you purchase the hosting of Hostinger, you will get this dashboard. And uh, as you can see over here, um, there are multiple websites. I have multiple websites like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have total six websites over here. Okay. Uh, previous uh, there were many, um, more websites I think so, but I have deleted all those extra ones. Now. The main motive is to show you how to, I mean, the process of installing WordPress on your domain name. So I think I have a dummy domain name over here, uh, which is this one. All right. You have to click on your domain name, which on, on manage, 
and then you have to go in the section of auto installer which will be under website section you have to click on auto installer all right so as soon as you click this uh, you, there will be multiple options like wordpress woocommerce and joomla i know majority of you will go with this most popular which is wordpress you have to click on select and then you have to choose the domain name on which you want to install wordpress okay so i think that currently wordpress is already installed at this domain so don't worry all you will all you have to do is simply uh, you have to give the title of your website and then you have to just simply in give the give the email administrator email username you have to set the password and you have to choose where you want to install the uh, wordpress so currently i think the wordpress is already installed over this domain but don't worry uh, at the new domain it will ask you like uh, you have to install uh, the wordpress at the main domain you have to choose the main domain over here and then click on next so this will install wordpress on your domain name so once you do this let me come back i will show you one more thing so once the wordpress installed you will get this section of dashboard you have to click over here at the top now you have to click over here and this will take you to the wp dashboard you can simply uh, go at www.yourdomain.com slash wp admin or you can simply navigate from here and this will take you to the wp admin i uh, mean wp dashboard and now from there you have to start making your portfolio website so as you can see over here we are on the wordpress dashboard now from here are step to start step one was to purchase the hosting all right now in this step two we have to install a theme to make a portfolio website now if i show you my theme i mean my website so currently it looks like this nothing over here it is completely empty now to make your own best portfolio website all you have to do is simply come back to your wordpress dashboard and you have to go in the appearance and themes section and then you have to click on add new now you have to add a new theme which is called extra so you will be able to find extra theme over here only but in case if you don't find you can simply search over here extra then you will find this theme now you have to click on install button now once it is installed you have to activate by clicking on activate button now we have activated this theme on our website now after you have installed on this theme all you have to do is simply install a template of this theme for this you have to click over here and then simply click on extra options button and then you have to click over here install importer plugin so you have to install a plugin of importer to get multiple best templates of extra so once the plugin is installed you will be navigated to this page where you have to choose a template to make your portfolio website now if you, for example if you want to make an e-commerce website you can choose e-commerce template if you want to make a restaurant website or agency website or professional website there are multiple themes for each kind of website for example if we want to make a portfolio website right so you have to search over here portfolio so as you can see over here there are multiple templates which are premium and some are free so it's up to you if you want to get paid you can easily purchase these all right so if you scroll below you will be able to find many templates so for example let me import this template for this you have to click over here and then you will come over here so you simply have to click on skip and continue if you want to upload your website logo you can do it over here so let me click on skip and continue now you have to choose the color for your website and along with the color you also have to choose the font so it's up to you which color you choose or which font you choose so once you are done with this all you have to do is simply click on continue button now over here as you can see if you want to provide your credentials like first name email and etc you can even do this but if you don't want just simply click over this button which is submit and build my website now currently our template is being installed hence it may take 5 to 10 minutes hence you have to wait for this once it is completely installed on our website
So as you can see over here, our template has been successfully installed on our website. So let us try to visit our website. You have to click over here, view your website. Now as you can see over here, our website has completely changed. It means that the template has been installed successfully. So you can see our website. Now we have completed the second step. Now we have to move to the third step, which is to customize our website. For this, you have to come back to your dashboard or WordPress. For this, you have to click over here, exit to dashboard. Now, first of all, you have to come to your WordPress dashboard. Now from here, step three start, which means that to customize your website. Now customizing depends on you. The way you want to customize, you can even do this. So I will tell the basic settings and the basic works of customization such as how to customize this logo or how to customize this menu. For this, all you have to do is simply come back to your dashboard and click on appearance and menu section. So first of all, you have to choose the primary menu, which is main menu, and then you have to click on select button. Now, as you can see over here, these menus are the same as this one. So if you want to customize this, like if you want to make something down or something above, you can easily customize this. Or if you want to add something like if you want to add some post like this, uh, or you want to add some custom links or you want to add some pages, categories, anything you can add to your menu. And once you're done, you can simply click on save menu and then come back to our website and click on refresh button. So you will be able to see that this uh, order has changed. It means that we can easily customize this menu. Now, if you scroll down below, you can see, see here, this page is designed with the help of Elementor. So if you want to customize this page, all you have to do is simply you have to click over here, edit with Elementor. So you have to open it in a new tab. You can even come in the pages section and you can even open the home page with the help of Elementor. So in both the way you can do. So once you're over here, basically Elementor is a page builder, which will help you to customize or to build a page customly. Okay. So as you can see over here, if you want to change, I mean, if you want to customize this page, it is very, very easy with the help of Elementor. You can do anything over this page. For example, if you want to remove this name and want to write some name as your wish. Okay. So you can do anything else like you can do this. I mean, I'm just telling you how to do customization in your website. Okay. All you have to do is simply double click and then you can easily add something or you can easily remove something. Now, if you want to uh, scroll below, as you can see here is a section of about me, which you can easily customize or you can easily delete. All right. So it is very, very easy with the help of Elementor. You can customize and you can add anything. For example, if you want to remove this section, my client section for this, you have to click on this cross button and it will be deleted. Okay. So once you are done with this, all you have to do is simply click on update button, which is at the bottom left bottom. So once you are done with this, all you have to do is simply come back to your WordPress website and click on refresh button. And now you will be able to see that it is changed. And if you scroll below, you will be able to see that my client section has been removed. It means that we can easily customize anything we want. Now, similarly, we can also customize other pages like services and studio. So all you have to do is simply open these pages with the help of Elementor because these are designed with the help of Elementor. So hence, you can easily customize this with the help of Elementor page builder. Now we have completed our step three. Hence, in this way, we can easily make a portfolio website without knowing any much programming or without being an expert in WordPress. All you have to do is simply come back to your dashboard and you have to install a plugin. I mean, you have to install a theme, which is extra, and then you can easily import any template you want. So once you are done importing a template, you can easily customize that template with the help of Elementor. Hence, in this way, you can easily make a portfolio website for personal branding, for freelancing or for anything. 
so i hope that you have learned from this video if you have learned from this video then make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon for all notifications right in your inbox thanks for watching this video